Hello, this is Leisha Breen with Journey to Greatness, 365 Days to Your Best Year Yet, and the author of the little book, Extraordinary People Living Ordinary Lives, Break Free. Break free from the herd and reclaim your greatness because you are great. Now, yesterday we talked about no longer making excuses, that subconsciously we have these habitual excuses that we often use to keep us from doing the things we need to do. And when we use these excuses on a regular basis, which most of us do, we're letting ourselves down. And, you know, on the surface, we all understand that. But if it was so simple, then why do we keep making excuses? Why do we keep tripping ourselves up? And so yesterday, if you're interested, go back and listen to that podcast because I talk about ways that you can become more aware of the excuses that you're using so that you're not taking action and how to get out of your own way. Today, I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about the importance of integrity, integrity with our word, integrity with ourselves. It starts with being a person of integrity with yourself. It really does. And why is integrity so important? Integrity is honesty. It's being honest with yourself, first and foremost, and then being honest with the world around you. And when you think about it, if you're making a lot of excuses, can you honestly say that you live a life with these words in your vocabulary? Self-respect, straightforwardness, forthrightness. Uh, trustworthiness, confidence, morality, responsibility, faithfulness, consistency, courage, moral strength. And well, the list kind of goes on and on, but I bet you get the idea. And really, when you dig down really deep, self love. These are just some of the words that describe honesty and a person of good character. Integrity is what you do in the privacy of your own world. And that's why it's so important to get in touch with your own world. And as I've said many times over the past week, a lot of us are living on autopilot. We're not aware. We're not even aware many times that we're not in integrity because we're just blindly going along, acting out habits and behaviors that we created years ago. So they're very repetitive and they're, they're actually taken without a lot of thought. So again, integrity is what you do in the privacy of your own world. It is living with a conscious, not justification. Too often, we justify our actions and believe since everyone else is getting away with something, why shouldn't we do it too? And those who lie and cheat do so because they believe it's the only way to get ahead in this world. And if you don't do it, you're a fool. And I have known too many people that behave just that way. And yes, they have, in some cases, become very wealthy. And they even made it through school by cheating. In fact, being a student, um, just graduating, I met a a large group of individuals that found cheating to be the most resourceful way to get through their five classes a semester. They would wear this banner of honor, like they were taking five classes, but they were finding every way they could to cheat. And if you ask them what they learned in the class, they, they would have no idea. The problem is these people were very, very young, and they were making, creating habits that they're going to take into their future. They're going to cheat at everything they do in life. They've cheated through four years of college. What's going to make it different when they go to work? And how could they possibly really feel about themselves if they take this habit into their life, not only in their work experiences and having had those habits in their schooling experience, but how are they going to manage their relationships if they think cheating is okay and it's a good thing to do? For a lot of people, integrity is the road less traveled. It isn't particularly popular, especially nowadays. I mean, all you have to do is look at what went on over the past four years. 
and it probably won't win you any awards, but it is a choice that will build confidence and and a strong conscience. Integrity is going to build your character. It's going to force you to become a mature adult, a mature adult that's capable of regulating yourself, controlling your emotions, because you're coming of a place that's moral. And I said it, you probably wouldn't win a lot of awards by being a person of integrity in the short term, but in the long term, you will find that being a person of integrity is very powerful. It's powerful enough, in my opinion, to change the world, and it begins with each one of us. It will reward you with quality friendships, healthy relationships, strong, long-lasting relationships, and truth. When what you say and what you do are in alignment and consistent with who you are, you are in integrity. And I said it, it, being in integrity is very powerful because it will change the world. And if the world ever needed some changing, socially anyway, it's now. As we each take responsibility for our actions and our decisions, our choices, we influence the immediate world around us. And then there's a ripple effect. And it's created as a pebble is tossed into water. Our initial action expands, influencing others that we may never even know. Does this sound impossible to you? Oh, it's more than possible. The pebbles that are currently being tossed are influencing us in many ways, some positive and some very negative. Are you satisfied with the pebble you've been tossing? Give yourself some time today to think about that. If not, change it. You have the power to take responsibility and change your behaviors. Are you ready to spread integrity? To become someone's hero? To be an example to a little child? To live bigger than you thought ever possible? It's a huge opportunity and it's worth every step you take to get there. All right, guys, I'm going to get off my soapbox today. I hope I've given you something to think about. Let's sit up and get comfortable. We're going to do our mini mindfulness meditation. Are you settled and comfortable? Okay, I want you to close your eyes. And let's together take in a nice deep breath and then release through our mouth. Let's go ahead and do that just to get settled and comfortable sitting in a dignified fashion. All right, a nice deep breath in and release. And a nice deep breath in and release. Are your eyes closed? And another nice deep breath in and release. Okay. Today, we're going to focus on what we have to be thankful for. Let's go ahead and make sure our eyes are closed and take one more deep breath in and release. Now, slowly bring your focus to someone who brings you joy, someone that you're very thankful for. It can be a friend, a family member, or someone else that you know. Think about what you like about this person. Why are you thankful for him or her? Now, notice how you are feeling when you think about this person. What does it feel like to be thankful? Really try to feel that feeling of gratitude. Now try to come up with five more things that you are thankful for. And then I want you to notice your feelings about those five things. Go ahead.
think about this. How can you keep this wonderful feeling of thankfulness, of gratitude throughout your day? How can you do that? How can you remind yourself hour by hour throughout the day that you have reasons to be grateful, that you have reasons to be thankful? How can you remind yourself to be more thankful, to be more grateful on your journey today? When you are finished, take another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And another deep breath in and release. And one more. Breathing in all that gratitude. And now you can slowly open your eyes. We all have so much that we can really be grateful for if we just focus on those things. If we just pay attention to what's good in our life versus what's not so pleasant. Today, really focus on your gratitude for what you do have in your life. And today... And every day, work on being a person of integrity, a person that keeps their word and that lives in truth as best as you can, always doing your best. By doing our best, by being in integrity, we truly do create a ripple effect and we do begin to change the world that we live in. Little by little, change comes on tiptoe And love is where it starts. Have a beautiful day. Always be bold, be brave. And always, always be your proud and dignified, authentic self. Until we meet again, this is Leisha Breen.